Welcome to the PhysicalEdgeCare.com's Tactical Games Database. Today we're going to be looking at an invasion game called Guard the Pin, which will be broken down into four builds. In build one, students will get into a circular formation and work on developing a passing pattern. Students must pass the ball around, making sure not to pass to the direct neighbors, and making sure that every student gets a touch on the ball before it comes back to the start. In build 2, students will continue to work on their passing pattern, however, once their pattern is developed, the teacher will come in and introduce a second ball into the game. Now students have to work on maintaining the same pattern, but by juggling two balls at a time. The teacher can continue to add more balls to the game to increase the complexity of the game. In build 3, the teacher will add a hoop in the middle of the circle. One student will stand in the hoop and be the target player. Another player will be selected to play defense. The players must now pass the ball around the circle, attempting to make a pass to the target player. If that pass is completed, then the player switch roles. In build 4, we will replace the target player by a pin. The offensive players, the players in the circle, must now pass the ball around, attempting to get a clear shot off on goal. If the pin is knocked over, the players then switch roles. So that's guard the pin, an invasion game broken down to four different builds. If you would like additional information on guard the pin, such as equipment needs, safety issues, tactical problems, and discussion questions, please feel free to visit our tactical games database at thephysicaleducator.com. Thank you so much for watching, and happy teaching!